We have chosen different long routes for this flight test campaign for two reasons. First of which is to simulate the long duration flights which airlines may expect to perform with this aircraft. And secondly is to take the aircraft to particular regions where different systems of the aircraft behave in special ways. A good example is the polar navigation, for example. We have to perform testing during this certification campaign to demonstrate that the aircraft operates normally on long duration flights. We therefore have to make sure that all of the different systems of the aircraft, whether they are novelties for the XLR or not, behave normally. For example, the fuel system is different on the XLR, so we'll be paying close attention to that. We've made some changes in the cabin to make sure the passengers enjoy the most comfortable experience. But many of the systems are the same as existing A321neos, and we simply need to make sure that they continue to work over a long duration. We have to look at a lot of parameters over the next 10 days and make sure that everything is behaving normally. I think probably the most important for us is everything linked to the novel systems on board the aircraft, fuel systems, the flight control laws, for example. We also need to pay close attention to the cabin. So we'll be looking at parameters such as temperature and humidity to make sure that the environment for passengers on long flights is suitable. We have to think carefully about which routes we want to choose for the route proving for a number of reasons. Firstly, is that the certifying authorities require us to visit a variety of airports to look for different climatic conditions, for example, airport altitudes, also airport infrastructure. We will visit some diversion airports which may have reduced infrastructure. We also work in partnership with some of our early customers to hopefully make good demonstrations to them of operations on their airports. So there are a combination of reasons for choosing these particular routes.